Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Aliens and UFOs video. I wanted to thank everyone so much for the great reception on the first video that I did the other week or so. And it looks like uh, things are going off on a really big positive set of news. So I'm going to go ahead and start focusing a new series dedicated to this particular subject. Uh, by the way, Happy Thanksgiving as well to everyone out there. I hope you're able to enjoy today with your family and your friends and basically have a good time uh, with regards to your Thanksgiving. This next entry um, is another good example of how I'm going to focus on the Aliens and UFO series going forward. Much like the first video, this particular entity I'm going to talk about is about one instance. It's one encounter of sorts that was found here in the U.S., or in this case in Alaska, and it has to do with one known photograph. So very, very similar to my first video, and again, very similar to what I'm going to focus on going forward. And it has to do with a strange strange creature um, known as the Alaska alien which you're looking at a picture of here and again this is the only known photograph of this entity whatever this is whatever was captured on photo there in Alaska this is it this is the only known instance and you're gonna see some other pictures later on but just mainly just zoom ins of this picture itself. So what was the Alaska alien? Um, it's, it's a story that I found on a website called ufocasebook.com which is a great website. I think I'm going to utilize it for a lot of my entries here going forward because they definitely have information that I like with regards to my new series here. So this entity, whatever it was, it was actually captured on photo back in the early 1930s. So this is an old photograph, almost a hundred years old. And what it is is this. There was someone who decided to remain anonymous. They sent a scanned image of this photograph to the ufocasebook.com website, to the webmaster there. And all it was was it's a scanned photograph, a scanned image of the original. The guy that sent it in was pretty anonymous. He did not give any information as to his name, nor did he give any information as to how he could be followed up on. In fact, he stated and it included the email on that web page to please respect his privacy and don't try to contact him about this basically all the information he gave that I'm about to tell you here he only gave it once to this UFO casebook website and then that's it so this is how it goes so this anonymous person's grandfather told him about this later on pretty much on his deathbed and the reason for this was because his grandfather decided to keep this information a secret um, it, it seemed like his grandfather when he encountered this entity or this alien whatever it was back in the 1930s he took the photograph but then that was it he decided to just keep it to himself and then on his dying bed he decided to pass it along to his grandson in this case the person who in turn passed it along to the UFO casebook so what it, why he kept decided to keep it a secret who knows but it seems like it runs in the family again with regards to both of them deciding to keep things pretty anonymous but he did pass him along all the information related to the photograph and here it is his grandfather said that sometime in the early 1930s, he was out by a lake there in Alaska, unknown which lake it was. Again, it seems pretty anonymous. And he was just by the lake, either fishing or doing something, when they saw something pretty much that looked like an alien or some, I see describing some kind of Bigfoot. Uh, going around the lake itself and this was not something like in terms of a UFO but rather a natural entity of sorts and so the, his grandfather decided to follow it he chased it was the word I don't know if he was exactly hunting this entity or if he just wanted to get a closer look and make sure that he wasn't I guess you could say like losing his mind at what he was looking at but he just by happen chance he did have a camera with him and so when he's able to get close enough um, he decided the right time was right there he took a picture of this thing now the way his grandfather recalled it afterward he said he didn't know what he caught on camera for a while because back then in the 30s and with him having a camera 
and with technology being so limited and him being I would presume somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Alaska it actually took him a couple of months to get the film developed but once he did he was able to look at it and to his surprise it confirmed the, what he was looking at he it was a strange being of some sort and I mean let's take a closer look you'll see it looks like it's 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 a it's a concept of the gray aliens before even the gray alien concept was popular because you'll notice that it looks like it has like two large bulbous eyes and it has the large almost elongated uh, face the only difference is its body seems to be more stout more pudgy I guess more thick than the usual concept that we know of or that we've seen of the gray aliens being like almost rail thin whatever this thing was though it, it almost looks like it's a small child of some sort but for the fact again it has its larger head and of course those eyes as well so that was it the grandfather took the picture that whatever this thing was scurried off and then that was it you never saw this thing again uh, no other encounters no other photographs nothing of the sorts um, I was trying to see if there was any information as far as maybe there was like sightings of the UFOs around that time during the picture uh, the time that the grandfather encountered whatever this thing was but no um, there was no not even any mention of that so it seems like this was just the right place at the right time and the grandfather had almost a one-of-a-kind encounter with this creature now the person I don't know who that name was but there at UFO's casebook on the website he took the photograph and he scanned it in and then you'll see this image he actually thinks that his grandfather came upon something even more interesting and it has to do with this he believes that whatever it was that was scurrying about there in the Alaskan wilderland it was two of them and he he thinks that it might have actually been a smaller being like uh, almost like a I guess you would consider a child to the alien was with this creature as well it's a little hard to see but you can see the outline that the person made there I don't know I think that's a little more far-fetched you can kinda of see the shadow of whatever this thing is kind of going through the outline so I don't know but then again uh, who knows this could be uh, just something else entirely different but the, it seems that that's what at least the person at UFO casebook website seems to have discovered that it could actually be two beings within this picture so what do you guys think this Alaska alien the only known encounter the only known photograph uh, but still it looks pretty real it looks pretty convincing um, I have no idea you know what's fake or, or what could be fake could be in all actuality somebody just created a hoax of a story and made this in some kind of form of Photoshop but look I mean it, it's it looks pretty real I mean uh, the information here it makes somewhat sense you're dealing with a known area in this case Alaska which has a lot of encounters with aliens and UFOs and then you're dealing with someone who decided to remain anonymous uh, if this person were instead say boasting their name left and right and making sure that hey for more information uh, you know contact me but I want to be compensated that kind of stuff then that would be obviously more harder to believe but in this case it, it just adds more credence to this person the fact that they just wanted to tell their story wanted to tell their grandfather's story but at the same time just let it be remain anonymous I think it, it just it just adds more believability to it so if anyone has any more information about this strange creature this Alaska alien that'd be great to hear any other examples any other encounters that'd be great to hear too so alright everybody Thanks again as always. Take care.